a quick update on our onion and radish table that we built this is five days ago and if you watch the video the last video we did um, you'll see how much these onions have grown and then let's go down to the radish so today is May 11th and these were planted on May 6th so five days and they're all germinating very well so our um, little template that we used paid off so the spacing turned out well and uh, there we go isn't that wonderful okay guys so um, it is Monday afternoon and we finally made it into the tomato house cherry tomato house so in this greenhouse we have 400 cherry tomato plants uh, four different varieties I'll put the different varieties that we grow in uh, in the description below but as you can see they are already fruiting these are the uh, cherry uh, indigo cherry and our reds and oranges and yellows are also starting to fruit up so what we're gonna do right now is um, get rid of these suckers we'll show you again how we do this um, first of all these are strung up to the top wire um, with a tomahawk and string which comes all the way down we start doing this as soon as we plant our plants into the into the beds and they're tall enough to start clipping so the string goes right to the ground and we use these little clips actually I'll show you one of these ones um, tomato clip so I'll put uh, I'll put what they are actually right here and uh, th these hold the clip onto the string and then attach to the uh, tomato plant to keep it upright so what we're gonna do is start suckering right Hale aren't you hot in that jacket no, no? It's nice. is it okay so Haley's going to explain right now what the sucker is because so many people are asking that they don't understand what the sucker is so the suckers on the tomato plants you have we'll start with the top you have the top of your plant which is goes up and you have the little leaves I guess that are gonna start and you have your flower stem that is just going to bloom and if you come down you'll see where your V is and that is going to be another stem of a plant so that would be your sucker and then the top you leave it and as it grows you keep doing that so then your next stem down has one growing in the arch and if, if you're guess. yeah in the armpit I always yeah. say but if you're <laughs> unsure if it's um, a sucker or not just leave it until it's bigger and then yeah. we do miss some like so this that. guy you can tell he is the sucker because I don't know if that's a fact but usually the suckers are on the opposite side of the flower so there's your main stem with the flower attached and the sucker is in is always below that yeah and we just picked that off and what is the reason why we do this because it takes suckers take the energy from the main plant because they will grow a whole other plant if you leave it and that way the energy is condensed into the one plant to give it better production and yeah. growth rates yeah and that also keeps it at bay too so our plant is not crazy wild as it grows up and these will continue growing up and we'll keep clipping them as we go normally <laughs> we do um, every week like at least once a week they grow at least yeah. a foot a week so we uh, will do you want to clip this one to show them how it's done and how we make the plant like you kind of pull your plant up so and yeah. tighten your string you can hold your string and then pull your plant taut and then clip it so that the clip kind of holds not without bending them but the clip will hold that up yeah so the branch actually helps yeah. hold the clip in place and you don't want to get too top too close to your top um, where the flowers are because they're gonna start to fruit and what happens is the fruit 
these gloves are too big. The fruit um, ends up growing into the clip and it's just a pain to get off. So we're going to continue on. We have a lot of uh, a lot of clipping to do and a lot of suckering to do. So we'll show you what we get off all these plants when we are done. Something else we wanted to mention was um, we do the 12 branch system. So let's go down to a taller plant, Hale. How about this one here? This one? Yeah, okay. and that's got a sucker. We'll get rid of that. Okay. So we're just going to show you what we do. We do it this way. We have always done it this way. We always leave 12 branches and they grow. The production is just amazing. So, so. I like to do these as leaves, but we're going to leave. So your top flower up is based as your top. So then underneath you start with one branch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the branches, the trusses, you don't count because they are the fruit. Anything under this twelfth branch you take off. I just snap them up. Sometimes they're hard and you can snap them with the scissors. And if your clip is on a branch that you're plucking off, you can just move it up to the next one to help it stay more sturdy or clip it under the little node that's left. And that keeps him straight. So 12 branches per plant. So this is just something we are starting right now this year. I mean, we do it every year, but... This is the first time we've done it this year. Yeah, this is the first time we've done it this year. So... We're going to be doing this. We're going to do all the suckers. We're going to do the 12 branch. Get rid of any yucky leaves that look horrible. You want to get rid of them as well. And, uh, and usually every time you clip, you take like a couple branches off. That's how. Yeah. Yeah. It grows it a foot and there's usually them. probably, I don't know, two or three. Yeah. Every time, every week. Two, three, sometimes even more, eh? Yeah. So we're going to get on doing this, and that also helps with the 12 branch. When we do our drop and lean, which we'll show you in another video when it comes time to do that, but this lets the airflow move through. So you can see these have uh, branches all the way to the, to the ground, all the way to the raised bed, and this one here doesn't. So the airflow will move through. Um, they'll... Uh, the... Um, you won't get as many bugs or mildew or anything like that as bad. So this does really help. And another thing that I'm seeing over here, look at the high ground over there. <laughs> so this is something else. We have um, our plastic mulch on top of this. Um, underneath is uh, our compost and our drip tape. So what happens is Haley's gonna pull out a sucker that's growing from the bottom and dun, dun, like, dun, dun. <laughs> like within, I don't know, that was probably two weeks. Yeah. And it is just, it's taking way too much energy for one. And it's <laughs> puffing up our plastic. <laughs> so look at that. That's crazy. You could plunk that in the ground if we wanted. Yeah. I think we have enough tomatoes. <laughs> so we're going to carry on with this and we will show you what it looks like. Actually, I'll put a picture right here of before and then I'll do one after. Okay, Haley's uh, continuing on to the next couple rows. So you just saw the picture of before and after and you can see the difference. I mean, now we've got this beautiful airflow through. It wasn't getting too out of control yet, but it was getting, it was getting pretty bad. So we've take, taken off any yellowing leaves as well, uh, like I was saying. And the thing you're going to notice is once you take once you start taking off your suckers and you're doing that 12 leaf method, you're going to notice your plants really start to take off. So now we'll be coming in probably every, I'm pretty sure we're going to start clipping probably every three, four days, um, maybe five, but I doubt it. These are going to really start growing fast. So you can see over here where Haley is, they're, uh, still very thick at the bottoms and she's working her way this way and you can see 
like this one here um, how, is going to be clipped as soon as she's done taking off the suckers, which there's one there and one there. And then she's going to reinforce that again with the tomato clip and it just makes everything look so much straighter, like these rows. So I think that's it for now. Um, we've got, oh, I'll show them what we got off the one row. Okay. I'll bring you out to the side by side and show you the clippings we got off just the two rows actually, these two rows here. So in the dump box of our side by side, this is what we got off the two rows. So there is a lot of uh, unnecessary branches here and a ton of suckers. So, um, oh, I'm gonna show you what we did with our suckers. So in here we have um, cucumbers started. We also have more over at the lettuce house that have to be brought over. And these are gonna be planted in greenhouse number three after Thursday when the temperatures warm up. And then down here are more cherry tomatoes that we took the cuttings off of and stuck them in the dirt and just kind of, we kind of keep them shaded. That's why they're on this rack. We keep them shaded so that, oops, they, uh, they don't go into shock. And as you can see, the roots are already starting. So this was done a week ago, actually. A week ago today as a matter of fact. So they've really taken off and we'll get these planted into some of the spots that, into some of the spots that didn't take in our beds. We have the odd one that just didn't make it. So we'll fill in with that. And then let me bring you over here. Now here we have our beefsteak tomatoes. Um, these ones here are Inspire. And then we have um, Big Dina, as well as Better Boy. Um, and we have more all the way down this row. We have a lot of uh, beefsteak tomatoes, so. And then we have more in the lettuce house that are gonna be going into our new hydroponic greenhouse, which we will show you that probably tomorrow. More onions to be transplanted and our greenhouse variety bell peppers that are going to be transplanted into greenhouse number four on Thursday as well. These are like, some of them are two feet tall. They're massive. They are absolutely beautiful. They're already starting to get their flowers. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So these will be transplanted on Thursday and we'll take you along with that as well. So for now, that's it. Um, our day has come to a pr pretty much an end. <laughs> and um, we were gonna do our question and answer today, but we had to do deliveries. We had a lot of things come up. So we will do that tomorrow. We'll do that within the next couple days. So it'll just be what it is for the next little bit we'll try to uh we'll bring you along with every step that we're doing um as well as the new greenhouse going up it's hydroponic but it's not in the troughs like we're doing so we will uh show you that soon we'll show you the plants that we have planted into uh their new homes and uh yeah that's it eh Hill? that's it that's all bye guys bye